Hi, I'm David Harry, and in this video, I'm just going to show you LibreLex uh, running Kodi on a really cheap, what used to be Android TV box. Uh, now, basically, what this is, it's a, it's a very cheap uh, box bought off Amazon, one of them generic type boxes. Um, cost £27, it's got 1 gig of RAM and it's got an 8 gigabyte storage which is um, a fairly slobbish EMMC uh, drive and yet yeah, that's about it, it's basically I've wiped out Android and I've put Kodi directly on it via a build which is being put under or via um, Libra Elec so what we'll do here, we'll go through to system and we'll go to let's see system info and we'll just double check or i'll just show what's on the system so as you can see there it's um yeah it's not using much memory uh, it's only got one gig but it's it's not even using half of it at the moment by the looks of it um there's the storage as well you don't need tons of storage um, you only need a matter of like a gig or so maybe up to two gigs tops and um, that's as long as you're not actually trying to store any content locally but you know just for the system files and any kind of like repositories and whatnot you don't need a ton of space i mean quite often i do like multi-boot systems where i've got open elec on and i never put more than two gig assigned to me open elec stuff and that's like a five like 500 meg for the system partition partition and like one and a half for like data okay so let's go to hardware as you can see there it's an amlogic processor uh, I believe it's an S905X. Um, and you can see also see there, if you have a look at the CPU usage, I mean, it, although there's not any content actually running at the moment, CPUs are hardly being hit at all. Um, let's go to video there. And as you can see, there's the Mali GPU. Um, so essentially, yeah, this is what it's doing. Uh, this is the setup, the, the software, the hardware, all the rest of it. Bear in mind, this is £27. Um, you can actually get these things cheaper as well, apparently. Um, in the past, I would normally have put open a leg on a NUC and I'd have paid more for the memory to put inside a NUC than what the entire system costs here, which is pretty awesome. And in all honesty, this type of system, the, the hardware, is probably all you really need to run Kodi. And also, I run this in UHD or ultra high definition. The system itself is capable of, of full 4K and UHD, it's, which is quite unbelievable. Um, so let me just come back out of there. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to whip whip through here. Just you can see that you know how quick it is. You know, I mean, it, this is actually very very whizzy. The whole thing's really whizzy. Uh, the the remote that I'm using is the bog standard remote that comes with the device as well. Uh, the particular version of Libra Lec that, that that I've put on um, actually did have. I think it must have had the files for the remotes on it as well, because there was no. I didn't have to mess around reinserting the remote file or anything like that. So that's just like a big shout out, thank you as well to uh, whoever the guys are who repackage, um, for, you know, for this processor and whatnot. Um, yeah, thank you very much. It's uh, massively appreciated from me anyway, and I know there must be like, you know, tons of people out there, you know, who share the same opinion. Uh, without the efforts of these guys repackaging Kodi through, uh, through Libra Lech to, to run on Android, wouldn't be able to do none of this, and then you'd be stuck running, you know, Kodi under Android, which is not really the best thing. Um, and just quickly, I can quite categorically say without a shadow of a doubt this is way better than running it under android now you may have great great experiences running Kodi under android and i don't doubt that this is just better it's it's more solid it's more whizzy and you know it's just you know you're not getting messed around by an operating system which wants to take over everything that any any of the apps are trying to do okay so let me just carry on whizzing through a bit now, I don't really want to go through any full-blown content here, um, but let me just try streaming something. Uh, I'll only do a little bit because I don't want YouTube to flip out and get all bent out of shape about anything. Um, now, this particular piece of content that I'll, I'll just run here, I'll probably have problems with it because this is a UHD and it's, it obviously requires more bandwidth for the actual data stream, for the video stream. But... Hopefully it'll come down and, and play a bit of it at least. I mean, I won't play much. I'll just play a little bit again. Don't want YouTube flipping. 
Um, but hopefully what this will show is that with this tiny box, it actually will do live downscaling of UHD content. Okay, right, see the buffer there? The, the, the buffer's saying zero and that's going to start waiting. Well, if I just jump in and start to play, it will play a bit anyway, hopefully. There we go. Okay, that's enough. Right, yeah, like I said, I don't want to play too much because I don't want YouTube flipping out. Um, and just a little tip with some of this content, when you see that buffer preload at the top, this is not a complaint by any stretch, but I, I just don't think that um, Cody is quite optimised just yet for um, like high frame rate uh, or high bit rate or high resolution files for streaming. I don't quite think that they've got the actual frame buffer routine correct um, because this will do things that... It, otherwise what it's suggesting it shouldn't do it does do um so yeah again not a complaint or anything like that and quite often when people have buffering issues it definitely has got nothing to do with cody or libra -Lec or open -Lec or the coders or any people who package or anything like that it's got nothing to do with them it's normally just user misunderstanding and that's usually down to you know people have don't, maybe they've just not got fast enough uh, internet connection wherever the content is coming from that they're trying to stream is is no good um you know or not not that it's no good it's just too slow or it just could be congestion locally it could be any it could be a number of any things but nine times out of ten this is what happens it's down to the actual the the, the streaming side of stuff it, it's down to where it comes from and how fast it gets to you and when I see all these YouTube videos on people giving recommendations for changing buffer sizes and whatnot and all this thing, it's it's just, I don't know, it's lunacy. Don't don't even do it. If you're having problems nine times out of ten, it's just your, your bandwidth's got nothing to do with Cody. Um, okay, so let me just um, come out of here. So oh, here's another tip as well, especially with content like this. Um, hit the stop button before you exit instead of going straight back to the menu because i think quite often what's going to be happening it'll st still be trying to do stuff in the background whilst you're going on to back to the menu so all that 2d overlay and all the rest of it the character generation and stuff like that's working a bit more harder because you've still got stuff in the background and especially if it's like uhd content like this that's going to put a lot more strain on the system Okay, so there you go. It, it you know that wasn't too slow. Let, right, let me just see if I get anywhere with trying to speed through it. Yeah, okay, that, that's not bad. It's it's getting somewhere. Now again, though, you see this. That th this is down to internet speed and how fast you can retrieve that data from the server that you you're looking at. I mean, you may well have a two hundred megabit data link. But the problem is, if the server that you're that you're trying to retrieve the data from is capping you out at a certain amount, you know, a certain bandwidth, it doesn't matter how big your 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 you know your conduit is, as it were. It's it's gonna slow you down anyway. But as you can see, this seems to be working quite well. There you go. I mean, I'm happy with that on a twenty-seven pound system. It's great. <laughs> um, yeah, the one thing I was gonna just show before. Let me see, let me just stop that. We'll, we'll select something else. So watch this now as it's as it's as it's like populating the links. If I hit cancel like that, there you go. It still gives you what where it got up to, and the chances are you've already got the, the best ones at the top already coming with the you know with where it got up to there. So if you're ever getting frustrated when it's going through and it's hitting like 95% and it seems to take like a decade to get up to the 100, you can cancel it at that point. And the chances are whatever it didn't catch is probably not worth it anyway. And normally I find that all, all the better streams are normally at the top anyway. Okay, so I've rambled on a bit, a bit longer than what I intended to do on this particular thing. Um, and it, this is basically just showing that Libra-Lec Cody definitely works on um, the little generic 
uh, you know, uh, Android boxes, and this 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 particular one is an X96. Whatever that means, I don't know because essentially the motherboard and everything on all of these things is generally all the same. And I think there's just a difference in the way they're being flashed with with the, with the specific firmware for the you know for their BIOS or whatnot. Okay, so I will be doing a how-to on this as soon as I'm happy that it's solid. And once again, thanks very much to whoever the people are who do all this really hard work in putting Kodi into, you know, packaging it into Open Elect. In fact, they're not just packaging Kodi into Open Elect, they're actually rewriting elements of Kodi so it will work on these CPUs and GPUs. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to say a massive thank you for all those people that do all that hard work. It's well appreciated. Anyway, call back within about five weeks and hopefully I'll have a how-to on how to actually do this. And within the next couple of months, I'll also be setting up um, a, a, a small kind of like blog website and that's www.cody.website. And on there, I'll be just putting up kind of like very specific things to do with Kopi, uh, Kodi, LibreLeck, OpenLeck, and whatnot. Uh, just a little blog thing which back ends onto like videos on YouTube. Anyway, so I'll stop the rambling and thanks very much for uh, watching my video. Take care. Goodbye.